Uh, my name is Michael Lonergan. I'm the Deputy Chief of Mission uh, here at the Irish Embassy in Washington DC and formerly I served as Consul General in Boston. Um, although of course I'd always been aware of the importance of the Great Irish Famine and Gorta Moore in Irish history, it's only when I came to Boston in 2009 that I think I became fully aware of just the enormous place it occupies in the folk history of Irish America. Uh, I was in Boston when we unveiled a new famine memorial in Charlestown uh, and obviously I took part in a lot of events where we used a wonderfully uh, uh, evocative Irish famine memorial in downtown Boston which really is a great um, uh, symbolization of, 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 of the story of the, of the famine. And I was there when we made Boston the International City of Famine Commemoration in 2013 and President Higgins came and gave a very rousing speech in, in Faneuil Hall to about 600 people all about the, the, the famine and its importance. And um, so many Irish Americans traced their roots to people who came either during the famine years or in the immediate aftermath of the famine and it's understandable it occupies this enormous place in the history of Irish America. Um, I think there are still so many residences of the famine to this day. We, we still have a million and a half people less in the island of Ireland than we had in 1841, something that's unique around the world to have a smaller population than we had 170 years ago and that's entirely down to the famine and its, its efforts. The social geography and um, demographics suggest that if we hadn't had the famine, the population of the island of Ireland now would be 15 million people, which is something to ponder about. That's, that's over double what it currently is. It would be an entirely different kind of Ireland, an entirely different kind of economy and uh, uh, economic model over the last 100, 150 years and so on. So we can see the famine as one of these great departing points of Irish history where we went down one very dark road where things could have gone in another, uh, another direction. So I think the events like this here at the Embassy commemorating the famine are hugely important. It's great to have Christine Keneally here tonight speaking from Quinnipiac. It's great to have people from Strokestown uh, yeah, yesterday. Um, and I think the, the, the very popular uh, role played by famine studies, by historical lectures, by the increasing number of books and research papers on this topic underlines the great interest that lies out there, not just in Ireland or in Irish America, but worldwide in famine. And of course, finally, it also reminds us very importantly that famine is unfortunately not just a historical phenomenon. Famine is still an issue today in many parts of the developing world. So for all these reasons, I think this is a very good event to have and we're delighted with the support that we've got from the local community here. And I know the roadshow that travels around the country will attract uh, large crowds wherever it, it goes. Thank you very much.